if someone, let's say, is becoming self-aware and they're starting to realize, oh, okay, now I see this flaw, now I see this shortcoming, now I realize why people haven't been finding me as interesting, as attractive as I would have expected them to, because I see that I have these flaws that I didn't, wasn't previously aware of. To what extent do those flaws and imperfections then mean that the person is less valuable than they had previously thought they were? Does it, does that reduce their, their value as an individual? Oh, not at all. I mean, recognizing that there might be some areas and shortcomings is actually is, is something that helps you grow. And you're, you're, you're more, you, you, if anything, your value is enhanced. It's a very liberating experience to be able to acknowledge that you have shortcomings. Because the person that says, oh, I have no shortcomings, right? That's, that's a person that's very emotionally and spiritually immature because we all have them. And it's the acknowledgement of them that actually helps you grow and actually makes you, in, in, in quality, in the quality of your life, the, your, your contribution, the value increases because, because you've, you've recognized that there are flaws and you recognize that there are areas that I need to work on. You know, it's interesting that there, there are different things that are a part of ourselves and it plays a role in relationships. I was just telling someone about this the other day. Um, there, there, there are things in our lives that we can't change and that we shouldn't change. And then there are things in our lives that we can change and that we shouldn't change. And then the things that we can change and we should change. So things that we can't change and shouldn't change are the family we were born to, the place that we were born to. Like we, we can't change those things. Like we are who we are. We were born to the family, to the situation, to the, uh, the society that we, were, that we were born in. Can't change that. Then there are things that we, like, we, like I said, uh, that, we can, that we can change but shouldn't change. So those would be like people doing all sorts of maybe plastic surgeries uh, to themselves. Uh, you know, <laughs> many, many Jewish women are chopping their nose in a, in a hundred different pieces. So those are things that can be changed but maybe shouldn't be changed. Then there are things that can change and should change. Those are our character traits that you know, maybe need some work on them. What ends up happening usually though, it's so interesting. The things that we can't change and we shouldn't change are the things that a lot of people focus on the most. They try to be something that they're not and create this whole background story of who they are and what they are and who they came from and where, and, and make themselves into something that they're not. And they, you, can't, you can't change it. You are who you are. And they spend their whole life focusing on that area. But when it comes to the things that can change and should change, like our character traits, what do they say? Take me as I am. This is who I am. Like it or leave it, right? That's it. And so the, we all have to recognize that we have character traits that could use some adjusting. We, we have areas in our lives that we could uh, bring, we could enhance their, their value by, by exploring them in ourselves. It, and a, a, a truly valuable lesson for ourselves and for others. We're not, we're not improving so that others will approve of us. We're improving because our, li our lives are geared towards improvement. We, part of our reason of being here is to improve ourselves, to perfect our existence, to, to achieve as, as high as we can in every area of our lives, including and especially in our character, right? To make ourselves more connected, more, more, uh, more altruistic, more uh, focused on the things that are really important. It's not that, oh, I want to improve myself because I want to find the right person. It's like, no, I, I need to improve myself because that's part of my life is I need to improve myself. And I will find a person in my life who respects that, respects that I'm working on myself, respects the fact that I, uh, that is willing to even journey with me depending upon what the, uh, the situation is. That is something that only adds value to the relationship and only adds value to the person for sure. Right. But, you know, there's... A, 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 in a real relationship, when, when we envision, I think this is probably true for most people or everyone, when a person envisions their ideal relationship, it's, you know, a relationship in which, you know, the person chooses to be with me because of who I am. A person appreciates me because of who I am. 
no one wants to think, oh, this person chose to be with me. Oh, maybe some people do, but I think most people probably don't want to think, oh, this person chose to spend their life with me because of this characteristic or because of this achievement or because of my wealth or because of any of those things. You know, and how, how do we balance wanting to, you know, let's say that understanding that, yes, we should develop ourselves and as we improve our characteristics as an individual, that's going to translate into, let's say, better prospects in marriage, both pragmatically and maybe somewhat karmically and, you know, all of those things together. But at the same time, then not start to see things as, oh, so now people are going to be more interested in me because of this and because of that, which then means that the reason this person wants to spend their life with me is because of this thing that I achieved or this change that I made. You know, it's on one hand, making those changes is a good thing and maybe will be helpful. On the other hand, we don't want to spend our lives and share ourselves and our lives with someone who chose to do that with us because of this characteristic or because of this trait. Well, a lot of times the character flaws that we may be talking about are, are exactly that. They are the things that prevent us from having a relationship with others. So uh, we're not talking about having somebody marry you because they are interested in your money. Obviously, nobody wants that, right? You could be the wealthiest person in the world. You, you, you want the person to appreciate you for you. The, the, the things that, that oftentimes uh, pr prevent us or, or at least cause a bump in the road from us developing meaningful relationship is that we are too focused on ourselves. And so developing a certain sensitivity, like let's say becoming a better listener, becoming someone who's more sensitive towards uh, another person rather than being so self-focused, that's going to en enhance a person's relationship. But not because of the fact that, oh, now I'm marrying you because uh, you're a better, I am marrying you because you're a better listener, because that's how you develop a relationship after all, right? So it's not like I'm working on myself uh, to, to make my achievements higher so that now I can have someone of a higher caliber who uh, likes, who, who appreciates me at this higher caliber. It's I'm improving myself because this is the right thing to do to these to establish a relationship. Um, no matter what areas of of challenge we have, the the ones that are going to uh, the ones that we're focused on when it comes to relationships are the ones that are going to affect relationships the most. Meaning, become a better listener, become a more sensitive person, become a more giving person. Right? These may be things that are hard for us to, to develop because we are who we are. We are naturally selfish, ego-centered people. If we can open ourselves up a little bit more, which is a character development trait, that is going to facilitate the creation of a relationship. So the, the couple of words that you said actually very early on there, I want to draw attention to and focus in because I think maybe that phrase, that expression that you said early on, might bring a lot of clarity to what's the, you know, a, a distinguishing point here that really makes things clear, at least it did for me as you were speaking, was you talked about addressing things that are going to prevent or get in the way, right? So it, you know, it, would it be fair maybe to rephrase that and to say that when we, there's nothing wrong with working on improving our character, even if it's in the interest of improving our, let's say, relationship prospects, but that's not because, oh, I want someone to marry me because I'm going to develop this characteristic so much as, oh, this thing's kind of getting in the way and messing things up. And it makes it harder for someone to appreciate who I really am and to, for me to be able to develop that relationship. So by addressing these things, I'm going to be removing factors that are getting in the way and then allowing people a better, to have a better chance to get to know me and appreciate me. That's right. I am. That's right. 